don't change the microphone. Thank you. All right? Yeah. Hi. My name is Nina Vallens. I'm an out and proud radical feminist. And I know that there are only two sexes. Okay, I'm going to give you a trigger warning. For people who are a little bit sensitive and care about things like natural justice, integrity, evidence-based policy, you might find my story a bit tough. I was a member of the Greens for over 10 years. In August 2019, I was emailed by the Greens Misconduct Panel telling me that they were investigating misconduct allegations against me. I appeared to have formed a women's lobby group called the Victorian Women's Guild, which was lobbying against the changes to birth certificate laws in Victoria. And apparently I'd also written a letter to The Age. I had to respond to these allegations and I had no more detail than that. Principles of natural justice mean that you should know the substance of the complaints against you when you have to respond to them, but that's not how they do things in the Greens. Finally, after some pushing for particulars of the complaints, I found out that um, the letter to the age was the one which said that the changes to the law could have profound implications for women's only spaces. And maybe women should pay this price of allowing men into women's sports. But we have a right to discuss this. I'd also been quoted in The Australian as saying that women who are survivors of domestic violence and who are prisoners have a right to women's only spaces. This apparently was misconduct. After a long and incompetent process whereby members of the misconduct panel emailed me their internal discussions about my complaint, because that's how competent they are, I was found to have brought the Greens into disrepute and to have vilified transgender people for insisting that women and men are not the same. I've never mentioned the Greens in my advocacy. No one could say that when you think of Nina Valens, you think that she represents the Greens. Who the fuck is Nina Valens, really? But nevertheless, I was suspended from the Greens for six months, which is the harshest sanction the Greens have ever handed down since the new misconduct um, process. There were two men who came before the misconduct panel for stalking Greens councillors. Guess what they got? They got a sanction of a censure, which is a slap on the wrist saying, tut tut, don't do that again. Jason Fernandez, who was the Assistant Secretary of the Greens, was found to have committed misconduct by leaking confidential information from the disputes panel in order to influence internal elections. Okay, the guy in the stripy t-shirt. Yeah. Guess what Jason Fernandez's censure was? He just got a censure. It was a bit broken. And lastly, I'd like to speak about Bianca Haven, B Haven, also known as the Haven System pronouns she and it, he was found to have committed misconduct. He defended Nazis, he defended child rapists, and he defended incest on his Twitter feed. And these horrible comments were interwoven with lots of commentary about the internal processes and meetings of the Greens. The misconduct panel found that he risked to bring the Greens into disrepute. Not that he did, but just risked. And guess what his sanction was? He got a censure. They said, tut tut, we think you don't know how to use the internet properly. 
shame on you. Do better. I was suspended from the Greens for saying that women deserve women's only spaces, but a Nazi sympathiser remains in the Greens, is able to run for high positions within the Greens. Shame on the Greens. We are on the right side of history.